Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have another pair of Columbia boots or shoes for review. Always excited to do those. Let's see what these are. Because these are neither boots nor shoes. These are freaking sandals. Yes, and before you say, hey, Frank, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you review sandals for your ultimate survival boots section? Well, the reason why is because um, the person that I'm always referring to in my reviews that I say, hey, I have a friend who does hiking pretty much full time. Um, he actually uses this as his uh, full time hiking shoes, believe it or not. Yes. And uh, to kind of give you a reference of one of the hikes that he recently did it was the the Appalachian Trail yes he did the whole Appalachian Trail in these yes these are Columbia Santiam 2 sport sandals all terrain yes fancy outsole so I said well you know what okay fine I'll do it I'll do the review so let's do it as some of you already know this review as I said in the beginning is specifically for my ultimate survival boots section i know these are not boots but if these were the whatever sandals that you were wearing and uh maybe you were hiking the appalachian trail on them or maybe you were just sitting in the house and something bad happened and uh you had a choice to put these on and get the hell out of your house and then walk or run for extended periods of time until you get to safety on the way you had to fight climb whatever's necessary to survive would these be any good for your survival? Well, how do we make the judgment? We make, we, we make Jesus. We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin. Criteria number one, of course, comfort level. And uh, in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes and apparently now sandals, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk without stopping, no breaks in between, nothing. Yeah, it was pretty hard to run in. Well, both easy and hard, all right? And uh, there are, of course, a few different factors, right, that contribute to the comfort level uh, and take away from that comfort level. But the very first one let's talk about is the weight. Let's see how light or heavy these are. This is, by the way, size 10. And size 10 is 10.9, which, of course, is very, very light. But I do have to say not as light as some trail running shoes keep that in mind so if you are the type of person that thinks that sandals are the lightest thing that you can possibly have on your hike well you're wrong my friend check out some solomon stuff and you will be surprised but 10.9 of course is definitely light um to give you kind of a reference numbers is uh if you are looking for something that feels lightweight, you want something under 20 ounce. The more under 20 ounce it is, obviously the lighter it will feel. This is almost half that, so definitely, definitely, definitely feels uh, pretty light. Now, another thing that contributes to the comfort level is the inner sole. Here we have sort of a jelly inner sole and there is a extra jelliness to give you arch support here at right here that's pretty good I do like it and uh, the fabric here is actually similar to the ortholite to give you antibacterial anti-odor sort of quality so overall pretty good definitely decent jelliness to it so running if you're running improperly you definitely uh, you know does help with the impact you know taking the impact from the run of course the flexibility of the bottom sole definitely helps with the comfort as well and here obviously it's very very flexible because it's a freaking sandal what else do you expect uh there are a few things however that take away from the comfort level and kind of unique to the sandal one of them being this uh specifically right here not this one this one is fine but this plastic um whatever it is this plastic thing right here that holds this strap in place uh, it definitely does create a pressure point on your toe and uh, uh, the, the friend of mine who did the Appalachian Trail he said that it kind of breaks in uh, it needs some time to break in and, and you kind of stop feeling it it gets better but I, I honestly think that whenever you get stuff it should be good out of the box and this is I didn't like that very much this plastic uh, piece right here does not feel very good on your toe keep that 
in mind. Uh, let's move on to the criteria number two, the proofing and uh, protection. Uh, obviously, don't expect any proofing and don't expect any protection. Uh, you're pretty much walking, well, bare feet, except that you do have protection from the bottom. So that's really the only protection that you're getting is from the bottom, from the outsole. You have that uh, uh, non-marking outsole that kind of gives you, you know, some protection if you step on whatever, but nothing else literally nothing else let's move on to the criteria number three quality and the design features i mean quality wise columbia they're fantastic and uh surprisingly this sandal right here has over 900 five star reviews on amazon what i mean what the hell and uh those reviews most of them they're from not from regular people wearing sandals no they're from people who are into hiking and into the outdoor stuff i mean Seriously, I guess I have to try it myself one day to just go on a hike wearing a sandal and see what the fuss is all about. I, I don't get it. Personally, I don't get it. But maybe you do. So, yes, people love these. Uh, like I said, over 900 positive five-star reviews on uh, Amazon. Now, whenever it comes to the design features, usually I talk about the lacing system. There is no lacing system here. It's a strap, Velcro strap system. And uh, I do like it, all right? This is one thing I like. And uh, I, I even thought that maybe it would be cool to have Velcro straps in your hiking boots or shoes. Would be pretty cool. Um, very easy, very fast to take these off and put them on. Definitely great. And if you want to release the tension a little bit, which is very helpful on a hike, I have to admit. If you're going down the hill or up the hill, sometimes you do want to release the tension here and there to kind of make it easier uh, and you can definitely do it here so that, that that is a plus let's move on to the criteria number four now the outsole traction and stability now whenever i was doing my run in order to test the outsole traction and stability i did it on a variety of different surfaces obviously it was the uh older asphalt newer tarmac dry sand wet sand dry grass wet grass trail surface some rocky road some concrete some marble and some tile all right a lot of stuff and uh, this is actually a very, very good outsole. Um, it has decent amount of aggression, decent amount of flatness, flatness, nothing too complicated where the rocks can get stuck or sand get, can get stuck. So really good outsole. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I have seen this outsole in one of the Columbia's hiking boots or hiking shoes because this th these triangles they look very very familiar overall very good outsole I, I i do like it whenever it comes to the design of it great job you even have the ridges that are actually not the same rubber it's very soft rubber which is a little bit of a downside and goes back to the protection here it's much more penetrable right so if you step with this on something sharp go straight through this will go straight through but it will take a little bit more resistance but this is just like butter so yeah i don't know why columbia did it but it did it but you do have some ridges that might help you with some climbing maybe maybe not because this is kind of slippery but oh well let's move on to the criteria number five temperature now temperature wise uh, not even going to talk about the cold temperatures it absolutely makes no sense but obviously whenever you hot hot temperatures yeah, this is as breathable and as breathable and yeah, hot weather friendly as you can get. Definitely. Uh, maybe the only downside is some weird tan lines on your foot. I don't know. But, but, but that's really it. Yeah, definitely, definitely great for, for hot weather. Let's move on to the criteria number six. Now the sizing, definitely true to the size. Uh, not much point of getting half size bigger here because it's a freaking sandal. There's nothing for your toe to get smashed into because there's no toe box. Uh, let's move on to the criteria number seven, balance of application. So if this really was your survival sandal, would, would it help or would it probably get you killed? Uh, well, um, here's the thing. I have to admit the fact that it's very light. Not as light as some trail running shoes, uh, but definitely lighter than most of the stuff out there. I uh, do have to admit the fact that it's pretty good for wet stuff. Now, you probably think like, what the hell? Hear me out. 
If you're wearing something that is a shoe or a boot that is now waterproof, and even if it's waterproof, but it's deep creek and the water gets in, now it takes time to dry. And on the long hikes, that time to dry, it might not work out in your favor. It's not very good. If you're walking, if you're hiking with wet feet, you're gonna have a problem, you're gonna have uh, some bacteria develop in there, you, your feet might get sick or whatever, you get the point, not good. This is not the case here. You, you can walk over the puddles all day long or you can walk through the rain. As soon as the rain stops, a couple minutes and this is all dry. So that's definitely a huge plus. Um, lightness, of course, definitely a huge plus. Comfort, of course, is a huge plus because there is really not much pressure points except this, which my friend says is gonna break in. Not a problem, but whatever. I don't like it, but just saying, all right? So overall, on the comfort level, is pretty good. Outsole is really, really good and flexible. And overall, great kind of stability, uh, surprisingly for a sandal, unbelievable. Uh, but, one thing that I would say here whenever it comes to having a sandal on your hike is that you do have that space uh, between your toe and between the outsole, right? So you're, you're making the steps, your toe is rising off so you have that space and that creates kind of a tripping hazard. And that's one of the main problems that I had running in these sandals is definitely that space right there. You definitely feel it. It messes with your traction and stability and it also messes with your comfort and it creates a trippy hazard. So keep that in mind. If you're not doing much running on your hike, maybe it's not gonna be a problem, but if you're considering to do some runs, uh, that might not be very good. And the same goes for the rocky situations, right? If you have some rocks involved, might not be the best, but then again, on Appalachian Trail, there are some very, very rocky spots and uh, my friend survived, so eh, I don't know. Well, let's move on to the criterion number eight now, the price. Uh, the price is only 50 bucks, so definitely very affordable. Uh, great price, the, 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 the link, the Amazon link is in the description below. Uh, well, for $50, well, personally, I would add another 25 to that and get a Columbia boot, uh, which I do have and I do use all the time. Uh, but maybe one day I will uh, decide to go ahead and try these out on a trail and, and, and see seriously what the fuss is all about. Nah, I don't get it, but <laughs> maybe on the actual trail, something like an Appalachian Trail, which I'm planning to do in a couple of months, uh, another part of it. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll bring this with me and then... I'll change my mind, we'll see. So, let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about these Columbia Santiam 2 Sport sandals? Uh, what do you think about this review? If this was useful, please consider subscribing. Please consider hitting that like button. And uh, if you are planning to buy these, if you're buying them from Amazon, please consider using the Amazon link in the description below. You're not going to be charged anything extra, but uh, if you do use it, I do get some percentage from the sale from Amazon, and that's sort of kind of a way to say thank you for the review. So, appreciate, appreciate all of that, and uh, appreciate your time watching this. This was Fires of America with a freaking sandal. I'll see you guys in the next video.